Good morning, KW. Welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge Marketing Mini Series. Um, over the next couple of days, we are going to talk about long term follow up and we are going to dive in into some of the how and the why into um, smart plans. Then we're going to show you guys how to update this and edit it to fit any specific lead follow up that you have going in your business and also how you can implement it, right? That is the great thing about a lot of these smart plans that are available to you is that you can download them from the smart plan library and then you get to go wild with creating them and implementing them in your own business. So today we're going to talk about the long-term follow-up plan. So the plan that you search in smart plans library is called long-term follow-up. Kimber Walton. So my name I put on every single smart plan so that it makes it easier for you to look for anything that I am talking about or um, creating or putting out there on the command groups. So um, that is why. And this is specifically just called the long term follow up plan. So this plan um, will be available for you to download um, on March 29th, which is, I believe, a Tuesday, March 29th, 2022. Um, so if you're watching this after that date, then you already have access to it. And it is a long-term follow-up, meaning someone that comes into your lead funnel, you could be doing automated keyword, first keyword, automated follow-up to them while you sleep and hopefully that increasing your um, lead conversion over a long period of time. Um, so I'm just going to show you an example of something that will be in that plan so you guys get a little bit familiar with how this all works. So in our smart plans, we have a lot of different tasks that you can implement um, for automated follow-up. You can remind yourself to do things by creating tasks, Remind yourself to make a call, send an email, send an automated text message. Um, you can delay, meaning I do something today, I delay five days, and then I do something else. And then lastly, you can also automatically add to another smart plan. So um, really, that is the makeup of follow-up, which is by design as far as how our smart plans are created. So all we're doing is being very purposeful about when someone comes into our funnel from day one, I mean, honestly, not even day one, hopefully in the first five to 10 minutes um, would be our goal. From that time until they purchase a home um, would be the follow-up or until they unsubscribe. Hopefully that is not as common. Um, so you're going to have things like an email going out automatically, right? When they come into your funnel, your home search begins, they get that first email. Then on that day, they also get an automated text. Another thing I want to point out about my plans is that they are all generic, meaning you're still going to get all the valuable content, but you're not going to have to go in and edit everything. Um, a lot of times I have shied away from smart plan library because when I go in there, those plans are so specific to someone's market and so specific to someone's team. And I am just running a different um, real estate business. So I try to think about that when I'm creating plans for you. And um, you'll see this as a text as an example. Hi there. This is agent first name with and then it incorporates the team name so you will want to make sure in my long-term follow-up plan specifically make sure that your team name reads as how you're saying here's who i'm with so you can say with you know i'm with kw south valley keller williams i'm going to go and put that in my team name spot you may be a part of the home run team um, and so you could put that, but this is how it will populate. Um, again, you're just trying to engage them. And then also day one, it's telling you to make a call, call three times and leave a message on the third attempt. So 
when a lead comes into your funnel, having three touches and three different ways in the first day is not an accident. It's a strategy. And so you guys get to tap into all of this strategy by doing this. So um, another thing I'm going to pop up um, just to show you is um, here's an example. This is an email that goes out on day three, and it just says reintroducing the virtual home buyer program. So you're thinking, Kimber, you just said you made these generic. I don't have a virtual home buyer program. Well, you actually do. Um, if I go click preview, you'll see it's this graphic that just says we provide a virtual consult. We provide your home favorites. We'll tour the home virtually. We'll allow you to electronically sign. We'll have you you deliver the earnest money where you don't have to leave. We have mobile notaries, and then you can purchase your home. What about that is not true in your business? I hope the answer is nothing because I don't think that there is one agent that wouldn't work with a client that needed these services. So you do have a virtual home buyer program. We just forget to sell some of these things or at least tell our value proposition to our potential clients because we think, well, everybody knows that. Everyone knows that an agent can walk through with their phone. Well, let's stop assuming and let's start really driving our value. So we do provide a virtual home buyer program. This is what it looks like. And you'll notice nothing about it has my name on it, my team, even my state. Um, it just says we would love to chat with you about it. When is a good time for a quick call? Call or text me at, and your mobile phone number will go right into that email. So I'm just highlighting this so you guys see the power that is in, in the command library for your follow-up so that your conversion can start to get higher and higher and higher, and you can start to be more purposeful about it. So tomorrow, we're going to dive into... Um, the second part of this plan. And then lastly, we'll just go in how you guys can implement this. There is strategy involved in it. Um, you will want to know how to sort your leads and all that good stuff. So join us for the next few days because this will hopefully be a huge piece off of your plate that maybe you've been putting on the wayside as far as following up with leads long term. So we'll see you tomorrow.